ever hear about those wild horses roaming the American countryside? The American Mustangs, they call them. Well, if you're a horse lover and you're watching this video right now, or if you've probably seen them, you probably know about them, right? Well, did you also know that they're dirty, rotten frauds? And what I mean by that is that they ain't legit wild horses. They're just domesticated, feral horses that escaped when the Spanish came here. So if these Mustangs are not legitimate wild horses, then what the fuck is a legitimate wild horse? Well, they look a little something like this. A species called the Shervalsky's horse, or aka the Mongolian wild horse, or aka the Taki. Now I find this horse really interesting because, like I said before, it's the last legitimately wild horse. It's the only species that's never been domesticated by man, while every other species has. If you ever thought what horses would look like if they never were domesticated by men, well, this is what they would probably look like. Very primitive, very prehistoric looking. These horses almost look like something you'd seen in an Ice Age cave painting. They're, they're like a living fossil. It's almost like seeing, like, a dinosaur or a mammoth. Nowhere near as cool, mind you, but still, pretty fascinating. But the thing with this horse is that during the early 1900s, they were driven extinct in the wild by... what else? Us humans hunting them for their meat, or possibly domesticating them. Just like we did with the mammoth, the moa, and the Tasmanian tiger. Why is it that we kill off the most fascinating animals? However, unlike with those other species, the Shervalsky's horse gave us a chance to redeem ourselves. Even though Shervalsky's horses were driven extinct in the wild, there was a captive population of just 31 in a zoo in the 1940s. And of those 31, only 9 bred. That's right, only 9 of them bred. And from those nine, the entire population, the entire modern population of 1,500 is descended. Talk about narrowly avoiding extinction there. You know, for as much as people hate on keeping animals in captivity, and yeah, even I, even I kind of hate it. Whenever I go to the zoo, I look at the animals and I think, this is wrong. Like, like th keeping them here is, it's just not right. So yeah, even I kind of hate the idea of keeping animals in captivity too. But if it wasn't for captivity, the Shervalsky's horse would be extinct. It wouldn't be here anymore. We'd lose the last legitimately wild horse and there'd be no chance of bringing them back. So for as much as people like to hate captivity, if it wasn't for captivity, this horse would be gone. Although, of course, what does it matter if they still exist in zoos? They're extinct in the wild, and the generations that are in the zoo grew up in a zoo. So it's not like they're fit to be in the wild anymore. Well, actually, it turns out they are. Because in the 1990s, herds of Shervalsky's horses were reintroduced to their natural habitats in Mongolia and China, and you know what? They actually, actually did pretty well. Yeah, there were some initial mishaps. They had a little adjusting to do, but they managed it. Travolsky's horses knew how to fight off wolves. They knew where to get food. They, like, they, they knew how to survive. They knew how to adapt to their environment again, despite living so long in zoos. And they're doing pretty well. In 2011, they went from critically endangered to just endangered. So, not only were they reintroduced successfully, but they're actually growing in numbers. I'd say that this is a good example of how animals can be successfully reintroduced into their natural environment if they ever go extinct. And in the future, if, say, maybe tigers go extinct in the wild, or maybe pandas go extinct in the wild, we could have captive populations that can breed, we could breed them, 
to a certain number, and then when the conditions are right, we can reintroduce them to their natural habitats and save them from extinction. And I certainly hope that the Shervalsky's horse continues to do well, because this is a great example of animals being reintroduced and saved from extinction. And it really gives me hope for the future. If you agree or disagree with this video, be sure to discuss in the comments section. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also be sure to check out my blog at the Critical Canucks at blogspot.ca and also be sure to follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, all that jazz. Links to all those are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and we'll be seeing you next time. Peace out everybody.